teams, but it's yep. also super hard, you know, having, mm. it was a super long day for both, and even with three matches, quite close matches at all, and we are in the game right now. Black Mermaid recovering the ball and trying to keep it. <laughs> you can say but, uh, Vienna has been playing really tough, I mean, yeah. yep, they've been really... You see that they're Being playing difficult. super physically here. At least we're playing almost half a minute and it's still the middle of the field. So here's at least every meter here is super hard fighting. <laughs> yeah, uh, German Langen also had to fight quite yeah. for three goals. Yep. So now they're coming already at the goal. He pull up and try to pass down. The next uh, Vienna receive it and is trying to push the goalie away, but it's yeah. tackled away. And Passed down by the defender, intercepted, and she's trying to defend against three Austrians. And now they're in the surface, we can't see, yeah, I mean... But this is from this beginning here, quite good so far, so we see Vienna here, like, bringing a lot of effort here, in their attacking, they're trying here to rise the pressure, to... It's really amazing how these girls had improved in the last four or five years. Yep, definitely, I don't, I don't really remember that Vienna or at least Austria starting with uh, like an own female teams, let's say five years ago, when let's say Sweden in the past was dominating a couple of years their female competition. So here we see uh, at least let's say super. Oh, here They're was still maybe she fighting. was holding. And someone is holding here the basket. I've just seen a hand. Yeah, right. <laughs> grabbing the basket it should be also being recognized by the referees because this is I think they just made an advantage and see it, but well. We have not seen which team it was. It was just a hand here, and so far, Vienna is doing a great job. Yeah. The entire match so far, we we are playing here for two minutes. Has been played in the half of the Swedish girls. Now we are back in the midfield. And still we see here all these Austrian girls here staying so long underwater, waiting for the pass, swimming very fast. This is super great to see here how agile and how fast and athletic these players are. And here may be the first chance here to score. We could not see the number, but at least also quite well defended and here we see now number 52 you have it now. it's yeah and now we have stolen basket and it's yeah. inside goal oh, for Vienna fantastic Decker, number 93 she was stealing the basket I've not seen if she also put it in but she was also participated in this goal she was like turning around on her side and then the ball dropped like through her body and she also touched it a bit and maybe that she has scored it finally but it was like Nausicaa Degga she introduced, she opened the door let's say and it was just necessary to walk there through this <laughs> one zero lead now here Yeah but sometimes it's easier say than done you know when yeah, you're blocking definitely. the basket sometimes it, it's not possible so now we have the Black Mermaids recovering the ball and trying to attack they're coming with two on right and left but we have four players from Austria tackling and defending now it's three of them and they're attacking already from above the goalie but everything is stable there and let's see now all of the players are like changing and the one with the ball is attacking almost alone yeah I'm also wondering what is the, the reason of the pattern and on the other side you see Vienna here staying always with four players underwater if you count it. Yeah. You can see here three players when here like around the ball. I don't know how they can do this but this is a super nice performance here. This is great. While you see on the other side a Swedish player unfortunately are alone a lot of time here. Of course the, the, the leader, the person with the ball is swimming around but needs to look now here the ball dropped down and was yeah, caught by a Vienna player and again we see we see almost only white underwater this is super super crazy even yep. all this counter attack they are up. swimming and keeping the brief here good Support job by the defender yeah. just intercepting that pass and now they're in the surface well defended here by by the 
the Black Mermaids. Yeah. Black Mermaids. Black Mermaids. But you see that they are struggling to keep the ball under control. We had here now the player with the ball. Oh, they're coming the ball. from the bottom, pushing the goalie up. And now they're going to play the tag here. And the next uh, player just it's could intercept. 14. That, uh, like Aileen Strand here, she saved the ball as goalkeeper from the ring. It was almost in and she like, she grabbed the really ball. Really good because it was also, almost in yeah. there. So now Austria is holding the ball, waiting for all the players to get some air and start attacking again. So now we have one play against the defender going up, passing down. Uh, that pass well was done. too long, did not really reach it on time. Now she's fighting with two of the Black Mermaids and pass it farther. The next uh, white player cut the ball and still has two blue to pass if she wants to get to the goalie and now the goalie has a little bit to shoulder too deep for my taste. Mm. Yeah, we see the shoulder it, bit in the basket, it's even it's the defender is like a bit, you, you, can, you are allowed to orientate yourself like with this. I don't know if the, if the referees will like uh, treat this or will like, oh, now we have another great attack here. But the defenders of the Black Mermaid are doing a great job really interfering, but they come the waves of the Austrian girls are really good, even if not oh, all of them are... Now you see yeah. there this... Wow, oh, ball! Number Ray 12! Pushed. She's not on the list, unfortunately. <laughs> are you sure it's number 12? It, it looks some other, but I couldn't see. Was something with a 2? Sorry, we could not really see the number on the swimsuit. Maybe 32? No. But we have this 2-0 scored here in favor of Vienna. We are in the first half of this match. Three minutes left till the half-time break. It went really fast actually yeah. and most of the time Osha has been attacking on the Swedish side. So let's see if now Sweden can do something about it. I really love to, to see them playing, so they are quick, they are agile, yeah. they are passing the ball around and always they are being underwater, you see it again, like four players, they are always underwater, just now there is a scrum at the surface, this is why they are not, but it looks it's like they have trained a lot, yeah. especially in terms of, of stamina and this mental training here to stay that long underwater. Stay together as a team here underwater. Oh, she got the ball, the goalie, and now great. recover, and it was there for a while, and then it started the counter attack and passed it. I mean, very well impressive. Yeah. So two zero here in favor for Vienna. Let's see what the at least the game is not over yet. We can let's see what the Swedish girls for the Black Mermaids here. Cool do now we see here for example a Swedish girl now lying next to the door and up to the basket. The trying the other girls are trying to bring her the ball, but now here again four players from Austria underwater. And Sweden is like a still reaction to the game of Austria. They're not really managing to do it their own game. Uh, if they wanna still have a chance to at least to tie the the game, they need to start this Huh? Moving more the ball, so they're not they're a bit static, so the Austrian can recover the ball quite quickly. Totally agree. I don't also I don't know what I could give them as an advice. Like let's say they're mostly alone on the water, yeah. stay and quite long on the water, alone, and waiting for the passes. So this makes it easy to predict where the ball is going for the attackers, and then of course you can wait for the pass and you can follow the the, the ball with let's say two players from from Vienna and this makes it easy for them to catch the ball yeah. uh, to get in ball possession so maybe they should also start to play a bit more faster a bit yeah, more, more dynamic yeah. Yeah, yeah more self-confident even like the double passes etc well, but now we see here Vienna taking a timeout I'm quite wondering why they're doing this because it's it's not far away from the half time. Yeah, break. right. Yeah, and, and they are winning 2 0. Yeah. They are in lead 2 0, and it's like 90 seconds left. They could even bring it to the, to the half time and take in the second half. So each team is having a one half one time. Half of, time uh, yeah. Yeah, from, uh, one time out for one minute. Uh, but just one per game and not per half time. Yes. So we have uh, one of the Austrian 
at the bottom trying to jump and intercept that uh, free throw. And four of the Black Mermaids swimming all together to do like a barricade to be able to attack somehow, but uh, Austria still being able to keep the players away. Yeah. The next blue player is having to fight against three white ones, four white ones, and it's two against four. I mean, that's not going to work for the Black Mermaids. Um, they need to keep coming more often and more people at least three at a time. The Germans did a good job uh, against this defense, which was always moving the triangle, also in three dimensions, not just in two in the front, but also up, and keep rolling it so that eventually creates such a chaos that they could uh, achieve three goals. But it was not easy. It was a lot of swimming and moving the ball around. But you, you see the big difference, because right? we could see the, the entire, almost the entire field. You see two players, three players, four players from Sweden at the surface, where just one player, or um, let's say two players, are on the ground. This is the big difference here. This makes it easier for Vienna to get in the ball position. They need more players around the ball. They need to play more, like invest more in their in their attacks, in their offense play. With this just two players pattern, just bring one player attacking the goal and one is following. It will be two yeah. less here mm. to really be dangerous for uh, against the, the Vienna defense. But let's see, maybe there's a half-time break now. Yeah, and sometimes that, you know, the, the teams really change the game yeah. of the half-time. Uh, do we have any fans uh, watching from Sweden or from Austria? The families are watching. It is Saturday evening. This is both European time, so it shouldn't be such a problem. <laughs> you could do like pre-Saturday night, right? <laughs> So far we have seen a quite nice match, Vienna here is, I would say, dominating so far, they're playing faster, they're playing more efficient, they scored twice, and we don't know who scored the first one, uh. but we have seen um, Decker, now Zika, she was like stealing the basket, and then there was the ball passed, let's say, next to her body, and she was giving a bit like a hit to the balls or maybe she was the, the, the goal getter or she was like scoring or uh, her teammate but at least she opened the door as we would say and uh, the ball dropped in and this was like the 2-0 uh, super nice team uh, play here team effort team style and uh, now we are super happy to see the second half starting in 19 seconds let's see what the team of Sweden from the Black Mermaids could change in their strategy to be more successful we remember that they have already played today and they already scored today so the black merits are able to score they won 2-0 against Barcelona. yeah but you know have some insight while they're yeah. having trouble as bobby simonson is saying that they are, have just nine players mm -hmm. so of course it's a bit difficult to be three four but i i know last year amagar right. was playing with seven players yeah. and they did the third position third. we were already so it's possible, but it requires a lot, a lot of training and of discipline. Course. So I don't know how much time they got had to train. Yeah. You know, sometimes life get in the middle of rugby. That's true. And, that's true. and when you're playing also three games in one day, we need to consider it's a, it's a third game today. This also is super hard then. So at least you, you have. It's not so easy to recover in this area. Now it's loud. You have this this is hot hot environment here. Maybe there. Are you you've been tired the entire day. You've been tired of of course you, you want to watch, you, you stay in concentrated something or focused maybe and you're nervous and then you come and back in your third match it's, let's say uh, seven seven. They PM. start early in the morning, I don't black know what to eat. You don't know what yeah. to eat. They start early in the morning and then you're being quite super tired and then even of course with the small squad it makes it hard. But nevertheless, let's see. No excuses maybe. Let's that's a lot of fans of the they Black Mermaid watching, now. even from Scotland. So And again, we see here that both teams here fighting for the ball in the midfield. It's Vienna in white and Black Mermaids from Sweden in blue. So now the Black Mermaids are trying to attack. Of course they need to. They need at least to score twice. So well, they have so hopefully nine they will minutes to do it. It should be possible, they but they need to be more consequent in yeah. how they build up the waves and keep coming. But this is what we have missed Germany in the first half, so they're really trying to, yeah. to take the position there, 
to stay in the opponent side of the pool and, and to put a focus to bring to rise the pressure towards their opponent baskets here. And this is what they're doing right now. But now still you see three players at the surface and just three players are attacking. I think the gaps between both both waves are a bit too big. You see now here the, yeah, the second wave has come down. Another three players here. They're trying to make a team attack. But if they don't, if they are not successful, the they other go back. Yeah. It takes too, too long until yes. they are coming. So they have just one wave, and they need to execute and to score with this one wave. But you see a certain pattern. What they are doing here with this three-three combination, and always like three players coming from the surface. It's quite nice to see here. Um, but Vienna is doing here a Look, great job. I mean, job. they have already three, four, five yeah. people and go down. Um, the pace of the Black Mermaid, they're playing like if they were winning and they just wanted to keep control of the ball and not yeah. risk it, right? They need to speed up a little bit the pace. But again, well, there are nine players who understand yeah. them. I'm tired. We're just saying the recommendation, what should be done in order to win this, this game. Sure. But two minutes played and <laughs> almost the entire two minutes we've played on the Vienna side. What we have not seen in the first half of the match. So this is also like a, a change in their pattern and also this like the waves establishing here right now from Sweden is, is new. What we have seen in the first half almost staying alone underwater. They are waiting right now for each other and going with, a, with an attack wave of three players. You see it again. Yeah. It's like two players up. Two up to three players are in one wave are trying to attack here. Now we have oh, a great that's pass. A pity. It. it was a good position, but yes. the pass was too long. Too and long, the thing unfortunately. Left. But this was also a great idea. So we see now the Swedish girls from the Black Mermaid here. And it's amazing. Look at the movement of the ocean. They keep moving and keep rolling and keep moving and keep going into the uh, direction where the ball is. And in this game, you see the Black Mermaids are a bit more static and a bit more in their place. They don't swim as much as the Austrian girls are. But they're still in possession of the ball, so they have been in possession of the ball for most of this half time. But again, Vienna is winning to zero, so they don't need to take any risks. And if the four checkers are doing a good job keeping uh, Sweden away, look, there haven't been really a risk uh, for the goal, even though the Black Bermes have the ball all the time, almost since we started. Now they're in the corner, and I think Aus uh, uh, Austria recovered the ball, but, but they have been right recovered by the They're super dominant right now with their eight to nine players they're having here, and this is what we want to see them in the first half. I don't know what Vienna has changed right now. But they're well, playing different, they're playing yeah, super Yeah, they're defense. winning to zero, so yeah. why risk it? Maybe it's and, and look, that the way that the Black Marines are attacking, it's not really dangerous. Yeah. So, this is not really unstrung, I mean, this yeah. is not really a lot of work for them. It's a bit of work for the four checkers, because they're, but they're not really being as aggressive that this could yeah. be dangerous. So I think they're letting them come and then try to save the ball here. But they're That's not right. even getting here. That's good, cool. yeah. So that's why I observation. Think. Good observation, Lorena. Thank you. It might I be, it might be the resist, <laughs> of course. It's, it's, this because is, they're like, they're almost super resting. Yeah, they're, they're super they're logical. And, and you see that, that of course, they, they're giving a bit space, a certain space to, to the Swedish goods, but at least they're still attacking them and they're forechecking, they're bring, rising the pressure. Nevertheless, as soon as they're coming close with the ball to the basket, Vienna is going down and And now they have the ball. the ball, and now they have a counter attack. And now it's the first time we're seeing the ball on the opponent side now here in Sweden, but it's immediately Sweden intercepted here, get back the ball position, and now having here another fighting cluster in the midfield. So this is a great job done here so far from, from Sweden, but now we see the first time Vienna on the half of that black mermaid. Now it's super important if you have put all this effort in, in your attacking waves to, to stay proper in your defense. Now recover the ball and counter attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Sweden, right? At least with four minutes and 30 seconds left, Sweden needs here two more goals to bring this match to a penalty shooting. So far there's a 2-0 lead for the girls from Vienna. And it's four minutes 
uh, to the seconds. end and if Sweden want to have a chance they need now to speed they up there's so many counter attack then the next needs to be already down there yeah. she's fighting too long they're against swimming too long drops, on the surface yeah. and they're waiting too long until they're starting to dive I don't know why they're doing this it seems like they don't Tire. want to counter I think they're tired Tire. you know maybe <laughs> yeah, maybe definitely you know how it is uh, between the nerves and the, the game C4 and it really gets to your bones I mean the, the last games of the year are always hard uh, I think it was Erika Lindstrom here almost with the interception here but Vienna super sheet they, they're just keeping the ball they're super nice in their defense now they're swimming this is so hard like having this this opponent with the ball swimming and swimming and diving and diving it's also super frustrating. You see the physically playing Swedish girls against this always like surrounding Vienna ladies. They're always swimming around like piranhas. This is super nice to see here. Yeah, I mean they have more determination when they swim. You can see it in the in the um, how you say it, the, the 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 body in the yeah. muscles. I mean they go with with it more speed and more strength to the ball. That's what I say that probably Sweden is a little bit tired because you can tell they're moving a, lit, a little less efficient, more like fighting a, a bit. Uh, now oh no, they maybe we are here Z. They, they want to prove us wrong to us and they listen to us. <laughs> so we have two against three here, Sweden attacking and the defender of and Austria Vienna. got the ball and is trying to pass it. But oh, great interception by the captain and she's against three. And there's no awesome. one to just pass the ball and, and now Sweden has oh, the basket. That still there's one Swedish girl on the basket but the ball didn't get there soon enough and now Austria well has well a counter attack Vienna. with three players. Really, really uh, well done. That was a risky situation and I can understand if Sweden is a little bit uh, upset because uh, that goal didn't enter because it was really, really like half shaft. <laughs> it's a half shaft yeah. in here. Super close, eh? um, but well, you see, like Sweden is trying a lot here to score and they are, let's say, closer and closer. Nevertheless, there are just 1 minute and 45 seconds left and they need two more goals. And of course, as more time is here running down the clock, as more hard it will be here for them to really, let's say, turn the game around at least we see here an attack from Vienna defended by the Sweden girls who brought the ball to the surface now they're swimming in the cluster towards but the center no they're to waiting pass. for the, oh, yeah, okay. there's no one to pass to mm. at least everyone is at the surface the, the, the waiting get into for someone faster. Oh, it must be super frustrating for a player you know you're having the ball at the surface you don't find anyone you can pass to and then finally you found someone and you're swimming some meters and there maybe he is three against two here now we see the Swedish girls but in the last minute even in the last minute they're not allowed to score here winner says no here keeps a super well defense performance and is doing here great job 40 seconds left 2-0 lead for Vienna so far maybe here's another one from above Sweden here trying their best to score closer and closer but still here Vienna is defending it they're defending their lead and 20 seconds left there's a referee call the ball was outside of the field the three throw is in favor for Vienna it's like 15 seconds left 14 10 seconds let's say this game is over we can see here five six seven you know this game is over and now there's a I'm on? Really? I think it's at um, 50 seconds left. But if it's right, there's a timeout. A timeout from the Black Mermaids, like 6 seconds before end of the match. Do they really want to bring... I don't know what is the... What is the the main timeout? reason to do so of course a timeout is nice to come together and to talk but on the other hand yeah there are just yeah, six seconds left 
there's no no single chance here to to win this game to score twice in such a short time because time is running there's no break if there's any any uh, interruption or in, inter something else stopping the game the game is right running and even now here you see seven seconds and here from executing four three two one game over two zero in favor for Vienna great performance to this let's say young team they've just found themselves five years ago good job well played well defended yeah and uh, well done also for the black mates and the second yep. half really pick up a little bit definitely definitely so yeah I mean even if you have what nine players it's really uh, uh, three zero no two zero. two zero thank you so coming up last game of the day is Orcas against uh, Langen. versus Langen so this is uh, already <laughs> it's going to be a tough match let's see um, if we can read the the teams Orcas um, a ver están por jugar las chicas de Orcas contra el equipo de Langen Manuela González número 2, 7 Daniela Marín, 10 Lilo Díaz, 12 Sofía Arango, 15 Margarita García, 17 Claudia Echeverri, 19 Angélica Miranda, 21 Silvia López, 26 Manuela Torres, 28 María Camila Henao, 72 Mariana Castaño, 80, eh, 88 Carolina Zuleta. And what about Langen? Here and then we see the Langen team yep. playing in white. It's number two, Mara Weismann, number three, Simone Lepper, number four, Anna Olt, number six, Stephanie Nusser, seven, Kati Franke, number eight, Heike Reichhuber, number nine, Köppen Petra, eleven, Janine Oswald, twelve, Ria Spalek, fourteen, Julia Ettinger, fifteen, Kati Velov, sixteen, Vanya Olt, eighteen, Antin Rusche, nineteen, Maren Janko, and twenty-seven, Maike. Rossmann. This is the first, let's say, final match of the female competition at the Champions Cup. Is this right, Lorena? That was last year, you mean, or what? No, no, no they're playing like the top three teams right now. Yeah. And this is like, so in the finals we see the Orcas, the ladies from yeah. Colombia, the ladies from Akeren, Norway, mm -hmm. and the German girls from Langen. And they're playing like each other. And the best team is being the winner of the Champions Cup. Is this right? No, yeah. no, 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 no. They're still quarterfinals. Is it quarterfinals? Yes. This is quarterfinals. So this final. team is going to the final then later? Yep. Because we had... Let me see. <laughs> um, we have... The quarterfinals started earlier before already with the women here. Firenze Connecticut Macos, then the next sister three quarterfinal the between final, the yeah. women. Firenze Zurich was also quarterfinals. So it's the winners are yeah. going to the semifinals. Oh no, it's a semifinal. No, no, no. No, the win. This is wrong. Okay, sorry. Well, <laughs> somehow this kid. I also, I don't know. <laughs> So right, so this is, let's say, uh, already one of the final matches. So Langen is playing against Orcas and Akeren. They're the last two matches for them, and the Orcas are playing against Langen and Akeren. Then tomorrow, while Akeren is playing tomorrow against Orcas and Langen. Oh, are and you sure? I have, I'm going to check. That. I have to check that because I'm yeah, a little please. bit confused. <laughs> yes. Let's see. I, I have the. You can entertain uh, people. Okay. So okay. now we are waiting here for the starting signal of the reveries. 
White, Langen, and Blue, the ladies from Columbia Orcas Club. Yeah, they for this and now no, it's, <laughs> it's too long of a day to start doing this. <laughs> My brain has left me already. What are you asking from me? So now we are waiting. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe we're waiting for a starting point. One minute left. The game will start at half past seven. So one minute to go. Everyone is being ready for this super exciting match. Both teams already played today. We've seen Langen earlier today playing against Vienna with a 3-0 victory. On the other hand, we have seen the Orcas lady winning 3-1 against the Black Mermaids. Sí, María Fernanda, déjame que estoy viendo esto porque tenemos dos esqueros que son